a long question with a table to fill in. It requires an understanding of a number of periodic properties. Read carefully and look for key terms. The question first asks you to identify the three elements described by the given electron configurations, and then asks you to assign a first ionization energy and atom radius to each element. The first ionization energy refers to the energy required to remove one electron from a gaseous atom, and the atom radius indicates the size of an atom. As always, in planning an answer involving electron configurations, you should consult your periodic table. Here's a chopped off version that will meet our needs. We can work out the atomic number and hence the element identity from the total number of electrons because we're dealing with neutral atoms. The ionization energy increases towards the top right of the periodic table because the effective nuclear charge increases as we go across a row and decreases as we go down a group since the extra shell added is further away from the nucleus and hence held less tightly. The radius of an atom follows the opposite trend, as tightly held electrons and shells close to the nucleus will result in the smallest atoms. To solve the problem, we'll start by adding 2 plus 2 plus 6 plus 2 plus 6 to give 18 electrons, and hence atomic number 18 as our first element, argon. 2 plus 2 plus 6 plus 2 equals 12 electrons, and atomic number 12 is magnesium, 2 plus 2 plus 6 plus 2 plus 6 plus 1 is 19 electrons, so our final element must be potassium. To assign ionization energies, we know the highest values will be found for the elements closest to the top right and those with the lowest values closest to the bottom left. As such, the order will be argon, 1527 kilojoules per mole, magnesium 735 kilojoules per mole, and potassium 419 kilojoules per mole. We reverse the order for atom radii. Argon is the smallest at 98 picometers, followed by magnesium at 160 picometers, and potassium is biggest at 235 picometers. Check your answer. All boxes filled in with reasonable answers? Yes, so we're done.